Hello and welcome back to episode 2 of McCringleberry Farm on Stardew Valley. So today, what are we going to do today? Well first, let's kind of go over the morning routine. We'll check the weather. Alright, let's see what we got going on here. Tomorrow it's going to rain, which is cool. That means tomorrow I do not have to water my crops. And fortune teller. Let's see how we're gonna do if we go foraging. For, for foraging. <laughs> Spirits are somewhat mildly perturbed today. Oh. Well, that's okay. We're gonna roll the dice anyway because I think we're gonna go foraging. For that's a hard word. <laughs> foraging today. Foraging today. Uh, check our mail. So the backpack's full, so like you will appear. Okay. So he's just trying to sell me the backpack, which is our goal. We want the backpack. Oh, but wait, there's more. Fishing. Okay, Willie. So we'll stop and see Willie as well. Uh, let's water our plants. One nice thing that I recently learned is that on the console version of this game, you can't, well, obviously you can't click, but I guess it's a little easier to water on the PC version than on the console version. I didn't know that. All right. So let's, let's do some foraging. We're just gonna look around. We're gonna meet some new people. If we find new people to meet, and see what we can steal from around. It's not stealing, it's foraging. Nature's thievery. Well, there's a lot of good uh, foraging, especially at the beginning of the game. It's a great way to make some money when you're waiting for your first crop to go. If I were smart, I'd go buy seeds right now and make my, uh, I don't know why I just did that. My uh, farm a little more together. <laughs> um, plant some more crops. But I'm not going to do that because I want to forage. I want money for minimal effort. And foraging on Stardew Valley is the best legit way to do it. I say legit because, of course, there's mods that you can go in and just hit a button and add a hundred thousand gold. I've used them. I love them, but we're not there yet. Maybe we'll explore that in the future, but for now, we're just gonna go plain Jane Vanilla the whole time. Which may lead to our inevitable failure. If that's the case, we're gonna cheat. Oh, there's Linus. Have we met? I don't know if we've met Linus yet. No, we have not. Hello, Linus. You sure do. You live in a tent. You're a hobo. Well, homeless anyway. What? What is a hobo? I mean, you think hobo, you think of like you know, a train dweller, but is he a hobo or just a homeless guy? I do not know. I'm half tempted to look it up. I won't. I might, but not right now. So we are not really finding anything. This back stretch usually has some pretty good stuff. Well, I, I, I guess the fortunes were correct. And we're not gonna find crap. That's a bummer. We'll make our way down our farm. Kind of see what's going on around here. This is just a standard farm. Because I'm a pretty standard guy. Holy crap, does it take a lot to chop that down. Ooh. I'm not used to having just level 1 tools. Uh, okay. So. Pretty uh, dense going here. Which... This to be expected. This farm is heavily overgrown. 
and I don't know if I'm going the right way. We will soon find out, won't we? Wow. One cool thing, and it's the same really any farm you pick, they, you do start with what looks kind of dilapidated like this, but in reality, you get a lot of materials. Um, I mean, you could sell all this fiber. I don't know if you get much of anything for it, but... Oh! What'd we find? We found a geode! So we got a clint who will break it open and we'll probably get a mineral. Those are fun. Ooh, coal. That will come in handy later. Pretty soon here, I'll build a chest and we can store all this crap in. I say crap, but I say it with love. Alright. I, <laughs> I meant to do that. So if we go down here, there's usually spring onions. We are in the spring and I'm going the wrong way again. I just want to come see Leah's house. Hello, Leah. And... And there she is in the flesh. Let's say hi. In person. Why, hello there. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Does it? Maybe it means we're outsiders. Or maybe the geopolitical atmosphere of inside of town is not oh conducive to our beliefs or wantings what can we get rid of here that's that's silly see i'm, I'm not used to having like nothing all right let's we're, we're gonna we're getting rid of the fiber it's almost useless and we're getting some spring onion. Sweet! So let's go over here. There's usually some good forage over by the wizard's castle. But because luck's not on our side today, we might not find anything. Which would be a bummer. I mean, this whole day would have been us just walking around. <laughs> Welcome to Stardew Valley. But it was fun. Oh! It was worth it! <laughs> you know, I knew it was full because I just got rid of something to put that in there. I don't know why. <sighs> I just don't know. Alright. Well, what can we get rid of? I want my daffodil. I want my spoons. I want my. J I want it all! You know, we're gonna we're gonna we'll be right back. We're gonna go to our bucket, we're gonna drop them off, and we're gonna come back and get some more crap. Inventory full. Well, it won't be for long. Put that in. Put that in. Well, that's it. I don't know. We'll plant the seeds. We have three of them. So we will plant the seeds. And then I'll open up that space. Yes, I had enough water. Cool! Now we can continue. I don't want the fight where you're in the way. Alright, change of plan. We're gonna go down to the uh the ocean river ocean to meet willy and get us a fishing pole something that i am very very not skilled at at this game is fishing it's it's easy for some people i am not one of those people it is not easy for me it is not fun for me i just get frustrated and i end up with nothing but I will certainly try. Maybe it's better. I was playing on a trackpad before. That makes a big difference. Let's go get our free fishing pole. Willie, hello! Maybe. Oh. 
I was not hitting the right button. Oh, hi there! That's awful, boys. <laughs> uh, what? Oh, I have to go in, probably. And it's probably going to be closed. It sure is. But he's right there. Alright. So we're going to go get our forged items, sell it, go to bed, and do this tomorrow. So let's go back over here. Go find that horseradish. Because I would like the horse. Oh, Marnie! Marnie, I don't think we've met! Oh, maybe I have. I don't know. Let's go to the bar real quick and see if there's anyone we haven't met yet there. Who haven't we met? Um, that is the wrong button. There we go. Marnie, Leah, Penny, Shane, Gus, Pierre, burr, burr, burr. So, the ones we haven't met yet won't be colored. What? Have we met everyone? I, I don't know. I have not met Rasmodius. Hmm. So you'll see here they list who is a character you can have a relationship with and marry. We have Leah, Penny, uh, Shane, Abigail, Harvey, Sam, Alex, Elliot, Haley, uh, Maru, and Emily. Oh, and oh, Clint. We haven't met. Oh, okay. So the ones that have the question marks we haven't met yet. So Clint, Sebastian, Sebastian, <laughs> who's also you can have a relationship with Sebastian. This guy, uh, Chief here, and little girl I know their names I just can't remember them but we'll meet them and we will know them then let's head to the bar cemetery that's the wrong way that's the mayor's house I just want to get to the bar <laughs> no 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 Nope. That was a big dud. Oh, Clint! Yay! It wasn't a dud. wasn't a dud. Hi, Clint. Cool. Oh, in line. Now let's go get us some horseradish. And then we're going to sell it. And then we're going to go to bed. And tomorrow, we're going to get our fishing pole. And we're probably going to try to find more crap. It's raining though, so we don't have to water the plants. So we have that to look forward to. And I think it's over here. I might not be over far enough. Or I might find new stuff. We'll see. Barely though, because it is nighttime. Another thing with this game is if you wait till midnight I want to say yes midnight oh there it is um you will pass out and it's locked I don't know why I thought I'd go in there it's 9 40 at night all right let's go up home sell this stuff and go to bed derp -a -derp. But yeah, you'll pass out, and then either Harvey, the doctor, or somebody from Joja will come and revive you, and you'll wake up the next morning in bed with a bill. Because you can't be out past midnight and expect not to pay. That is the Stardew Valley way. They have a curfew, and they mean it. Let's see how easily I can navigate this. And I really am just trying to be in a hurry. Not that easily. Not that much of a hurry. Come on, man. Okay. Thank you. So let's sell our crap. 
and we go to bed. Yes. All right. Let's see how much money we made. Oh, 126 gold and one for the fiber. So fiber is worth one gold. Day three, spring year one. Okay, it's a beautiful dark morning. Let's check our fortune. Will we find crap today? Ugh. Are they ever not annoyed? Yeah, what's the weather gonna be like tomorrow? Let's see what we got. Clear and sunny all day. All right. So there's our crops. Let's. What do we want to do? I guess we could go explore some more. We can't go to the cave yet. That's not open. I can't remember when it gets opened. And it's only 6.40, so I really won't be able to do crap until 6.40. Or until... 8? 9? Something. Ooh, daffodil. Or dandelion. Daffodil. I was right. Well, we could do that. We could go around and look for more crap. I promise this, this series won't be just me going around looking for forageables. It's just right now because I don't want to farm yet. Um, probably next episode we will do a big push and expand our farm immensely. But that will be next episode, so probably within the game tomorrow. We will start expanding our farm. Be a beautiful sunny day. Um, really plant some stuff. Maybe today we'll buy seeds and stuff. We'll do some prep work today for our big push tomorrow. And this has not been successful. Well, you're you're getting to see the map. If you haven't seen the map before, this is the map. All right. So you know they have the soundtrack to this game out on vinyl. I didn't know that. Part of me really wants it. Part of me really does not. I don't know, it's, it's a mixed feeling. No, it, it's a very good soundtrack. I do like the soundtrack. I find myself uh, using it to get work done. Right, that is Shane, we've already met him. He's kind of a grump. All right, so let's head on down. It's about that time where we can get a fishing pole. And cussing. Hello there, Willie. I can't with the voices. All right, I'm just not going to do voices. Yes. <laughs> oh, hi there, son. I lied. I'm doing the voices. <laughs> You're a newcomer in town. Good to find. No, I'm, I'm done. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, maybe a little skin. Alright. Good, I'm glad. Now give me some stuff. For free. Because I am what they call... A moocher. Alright. Yay, free fishing pole! Fishing rod. A bamboo pole. Cool. There sure is. Now, ask me if I remember how to fish. Because I don't. Oh, that's a good way to make money, though. I forgot. Alright, well, we need to master the fishing. And off into the distance. Davido. Okay. Nope. Yep. Alright. We're fishing. I don't know what's going to happen when we get one. I really don't know how to do it. But we will find out. And maybe not. 
Nope. Let's find a better spot. Maybe over here. Come on. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy. I'm gonna try to catch you and probably fail miserably. No? Oh, come on. I'm, I'm gonna attempt to catch fish. <gasps> Yay! No. Nope. I must have had to do something. Alright, it's come back to me now. I have to hook it. And then I can start reeling. That was all me. Live and learn, folks. Live and learn. Come on. Let's go. Try a different spot. Right up here. Right. Maybe. Come on. Come on. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Ugh. No, nope, I'm done. We'll try again another time. Uh, let's look for forageables on the beach. Always a good place to get forageables. Uh, we've already met Elliot, so that wouldn't really do anything. Worms! There's always crap when there's worms. Glass shards. Ooh. Inventory full. Well, I don't need these glass shards. That's for. Oh, wow, that's an artifact. Oh. Well, that, we'll I'm going to get them a million times over. That's fine. Cool. So we got that. Let's go check our spring onions. And, well, let's try to fill in the gap. There's a gap. Oh, there's one of them. Sebastian, I have to meet you. Hello. Yeah, cool. Yeah, with your hair. He doesn't care. Sebastian, one cool cat. Alright. That's not the right way. So we met Sebastian. Now we need to meet Dimitri. See, I'm, I'm remembering their names. Who is Leah's husband. And I'm still going the wrong way. I don't know why I think that's correct. Because it is not. Alright, so we'll go up and meet Dimitri. Do a little foraging on the way. Go buy some seeds. Ooh, actually, yeah, let's go meet Dimitri and then we're going to go buy some seeds and get prepped. Hello. Oh no, you're soaked. You betcha I am. Hello. Demetrius. Ugh. Well, I was close. That's all. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Let's go to the general store. Piers. Or should we go to Joja Mart? It is cheaper. I am operating within a limited budget. Nah, we're, we're gonna go to Piers. Unless it's closed. I think they're closed Wednesdays. Yup, I knew it. I knew it. The second I looked at that day, I was like, oh. Well, that's on you, bud. We are going to Georgia. Hello. I would like to buy some crap. Alright, what do we want? We have four days to mature, 25. I want something that keeps going. 12 days, 20 days, 6 days to mature, yielding milk potatoes at harvest. Harvest with a scythe. That's all you got. Alright, so what do we want to invest in here? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Takes 10 days of mature, but keeps producing after that. Use multiple rows for harvest. It's only day three. So money-wise, this is kind of our best bet, and I have no room. I just realized that. All right, what are we getting rid of? Sorry, Cole. He'll get over it. 
All right, let's deplete all of my financial resources. 11, or 32. Can I buy anything with 32? I can buy tulip. And wallpaper, Joja Cola. And one parsnip. You know, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not going to throw my money towards something as frivolous as a parsnip. And vegetables. I was doing some vegetable puns not too long ago. Well, let us be happy that I'm not doing them now. <laughs> I know that was corny. <laughs> Moving on. Go here. We'll throw our stuff down. You know, it's only 3.30. Yeah, you know, let's plant. Let's do some planting. Gold ore. We're going to get a ton of it. Same with this. We're going to get a ton of it later in the game. Let's do some planting. Where do we want to expand? With all this here, I'm thinking this is a good place to start. Cool. Let's get our hoe. I almost purposely put the hoe in a weird spot just so I could say where my hoe at. But that would be insensitive. Even though it is just a piece of farming equipment. And that's all it is in this particular scenario. Now beans, there was something they grow weird. If I remember right. And I very well could not be remembering right because well, I'm a guy. That's probably way too many spots. Yeah, I only have 11. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I remember now. So that's... That's going to be a little different. Oh, come on. Leave the beans there. We got seven more beans here to go. Four. And there we go. And we don't even have to water them. Cool. So we expanded that. Let's drop this stuff we're going to sell off. That's a, that's a gold right there. We'll do a little bit of clearing up here. We'll see what we can do. Clear that. I love this guy while I'm here. How nice to have one of those right there. Very convenient. Cool. So we're just gonna collect all the fiber. The thing is with fiber, it grows so much that with the fiber it usually becomes a pretty regular thing. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'm no more. Um it's only eight o'clock. Well, it might be an early night for young. Edgar, Edgar McCringleberry, on the Kringleberry farm. Yeah, it's going to be, oh, we have two. We'll, we'll plant those because they're free. Cool. And then let's see how much forage money we got. Ooh, ooh, 235 today. You know what that means? More green beans. Wonderful. Okay, so it is now 
day four, but I am gonna end this one here. Uh, thanks for watching, like and subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you next time.